Bill Kelly, the CEO of the Chi Association. And maybe by geography, I thought I'd point out we're three miles and 230 some odd years from the home of TradFi, which is the New York Stock Exchange. The Buttonwood Agreement was started and signed 232 years ago. And while there was no such thing as blockchain back then, it was a bit of a consortium ledger because you had 24 founding agents. And one of the founding principles was collusion. So while they had their separate uh, uh, ledgers, there was a consortium about how to charge commissions, who to trade with, et cetera, et cetera. And while there was no such thing as a security token back then, there was a non-fungible token or stock certificate, which was physical settlement. A security number was written on that, and it belonged to you, the individual. Uh, and trade settlement would take forever. But it's interesting to point out the first public company to reach a trillion dollars took almost 225 years. It was Apple in 2018. So 225 years to get there to a trillion dollars of market cap. And Apple was over 40 years old at the time. And contrast that to what we're going to talk about today uh, with, with blockchain. The first crypto asset was about a dozen years in Bitcoin. And it got to that trillion dollars quite quickly. And there are many reasons why, and some of these experts will get into it, but it could not have happened without a decentralized ledger in blockchain, and certainly could not have happened without 24-7 trading. And I think gumming up the works of regulation is certainly some sand in the gears of progress there, too. So